Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I, I know you're at you're at my service, Vasco, but can you give me a minute to just greet the greet the people? So, welcome back to the channel. If you remember, in the last episode, we were playing. Well, the last episode of Starfield. All right, give it a rest, mate. We uh, was mining something. We found a weird hunk of metal. It knocks us out, bent us on a weird acid trip. And then some guy showed up and told us we need to go meet his super secret boy band. Uh, once we delivered it to them, they uh, they let us join their secret club. And that's what basically. So uh, yeah, we met Sarah Morgan what here can I help and her you? other Ever friends. Since I got here, Noel this here. These people are family. And Walter, that which is you. this guy. That was yeah, intense, Walter. Wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. Yeah, it was I'm a little bit, yeah. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Oh, yeah, let's learn about the room Planning that we got. Planning on around them? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've well, seen curious Walter. feeling Obviously. knowing that you've seen something. Walter's no quite else. proud of the collection. You know but Matteo no has made does. more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a moment of quiet contemplation. So we got gardens. On the quiet part. At least you can. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellations founder. Had this place built decades ago. I'm guessing. Time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. Some random desk. Uh, oh, it's a model of the Apollo space shuttle. Well, the lander, at least. Ah, well, that door's not locked anymore. Weird bed. Another hallway. Someone else's bedroom. They got a bar. That's all we need. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. How many are there in this super secret boy band? And why can't we walk at the same pace as everyone else? What is this? Oh, right. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. Oh, cool. We got we got another watch. And a fancy space pen. So we're not wearing are we not wearing the watch? Oh, it's a watch case. Yeah, don't want to carry that. All right, let's uh, let's continue on with our mission. Yeet. I'm listening. So, are you ready to get to work? Yes, we need to get to work, Sarah. Hey, have you been up to the island? Uh, all right, let's find out what constellation is. Explorers. Humanity oh, has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded space. decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems <laughs> dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These ah, I thought it was going to be, how did David Blaine walk on water? 
Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Um, how well known is Constellation? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, that's quite a noble. mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. That's very true. All right, let's We're go. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Uh, yeah, let's go. Not the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just oh my that. God. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. You got it. Let's go. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Yes, let's go. I hope you are satisfied with the orders available to you. At least we get a little, uh, little hum. So, where are we going? Okay, you're just gonna follow me then. Alright. That's good with me. Um, Sergeant Yumi's looking for a reliable people to help the Not guard. that way. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. This is the way down. I might have gone the wrong way. Oh no, no, I see some stairs. That would have taken us up there and we don't we didn't want to be up there. Do each of you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? Sounds like someone's getting sworn in. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Ah, uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? <laughs> no thanks. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, we'll right? Rule it out. I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get oh, anyone else to care. Where he spends most of his days. He's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description, no. Sarah okay. gave me. <laughs> Where da, da, da. We'll talk to him. I'm sure I can make a good offer. A scientific discovery being used as an ornament. The indignity. If he's on patrol, we could be putting our item at risk. Who is Mora? Wait, what's wrong with the soul system? That's a good point. What is wrong with the soul system? It's it's where we are right now. Yes. We'll talk to him. Soul system is a lot of planets, <laughs> but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. 
You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. No, there ain't no wrong with that. Anything Back for sure. Thanks to UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Um, I'm sure it is. We've got uh, we've got other business to attend to first, mate. Right, let's head back to our spaceship then. I got to the surface map. Oh no, no, we're missing something. We have these jetpacks for a reason, you know. <clears throat> we. Spaceport. We was going to the spaceport then, so why can't I fast travel? I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the nut. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit weird. Ah, oh, I've always liked that statue. Isn't it? Mm. I wonder cool. what the artist was trying to represent. Um, no idea. Keep moving. Right through the checkpoint. A diplomatic bartender at viewpoint will stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost. Wonder if we can modify our spaceship yet. Need some work done. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches. Every Ooh. Sure. How about it? We can. We don't have a lot of credits though, so I might hold off. I might change out. the generator just to give us a bit more oh well the reactor just to give us a bit more uh oomph so that'll give us why is this one so much cheaper i don't understand That one gives us less power as well. Repair rate looks to be looks to be less. It weighs less as well. Whatever. It's a good fit. I think we'll change out the weapons as well we'll get rid of that one that one and that one we can duplicate that one and put it there and then we'll look at getting wow we're really uh, limited when it comes to weapons <clears throat> I think we might just leave it. Yeah, screw it. We'll just leave it, undo. And we'll just stick with uh, stick with the new reactor. I do want to paint the ship though, so I'm going to select that one and that one. And we're going to go colour. And I love the colour blue. So we're going to go for a nice blue. Something like that. And then for the legs, we're just going to go 
random colours. Make it look like a hodgepodge from different different ships. Go for an orange on that one. And maybe a I've already got a green, so we'll go with like a light pink on that one. There we go for turquoise and like a red, well, a really pale. We'll brighten it up. Yeah, something like that. That piece will go a yellow. Oh, that's not bad. And that one. That one's not really pink. I wanted a bit more of a pink. Oh yeah, that looks better. And we'll call it the pick and mix. Um, how do I name it? Let's go! <laughs> See you later, oh, Yes, now that is the shit. Look at it! It's so... It's so messed up. I love it. Now it looks more like me. A complete mess. All right, so let's get in the cockpit and see where we're going. How did you get in here before me? Let's go, baby. Eventually we will get a more, a better ship, but at the minute, I think, I'm, I'm happy with what we got. There's no point upgrading just yet, apart from the, uh, apart from the reactor. In case we get into a bit of trouble, we can power up more, more weapons. So, no clue where we're going just yet. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current oh, yeah. course while we scan solve. your ship's cargo. And, and we're then done. we're going to Mars. Welcome to Mars. We are landing at Sidonium. of a ship, it looks awesome. I love it. 
Ah, oh, Zay. You always take me to the nicest places. Yeah. Mars. Lovely place. That beautiful hunk of a mess. I wonder if I should be investing in uh, in skills yet. I've not looked at them. Although I do know I want to get this one because then we can build bigger ships. And ship design allows us to install better modules. Can't do out there. We only need to destroy two more ships and then we can level this up and then that'll give us better better turning rate of maneuverability and then we only need one more after that so we're getting close there. <clears throat> Heat leeches in the engine, leeches on the hull, multiple leeches in the grab drive. Suppose that would explain the brown out. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping yeah, it is a clever way, because Mars is very prone to uh, dust storms. Hundred percent agree with that. Whoa, what's in here? Notify us if you see anything suspicious. Hi. What you doing? Ever been to Aquila? I'm not going in the prison cell. Sorry. What do you mean? There's no work. Yeah. Do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money? We have the tech to instantly jump across the universe. Oh, this place is cool. So looks like we're talking to Jack. Old beers and good atmosphere. Much more he could ask for. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Uh, I'm not about to leave a brave soldier behind to help us find him. You in the service? I know the feeling. But, uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help <clears throat> out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But, <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? I am not paying someone else's thing. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't <clears> hard <throat> enough. You gonna guilt trip me? To persuade a person, you need to make a successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Uh, I think we go with that one. What matters more, the money or Morris' life? Guess I should ask you the same question. You paying or what? Okay, that didn't work. <clears throat> we could be the only ones who could find him. Maybe. There's no reason to ha for us to have a problem, is there? I know you're going to tell me eventually. Why not save yourself the time and tell me now? I want you to imagine him out there alone and here you are holding out for cash. 
I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. That's what I like to hear. Maybe we can work something out. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love, <laughs> singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. So we're gonna head to Venus it. to find him. Right, let's go to Venus then. Enough beep, you beep, beep. Yep, thanks for the advice, pal. Is she coming or what? Oh, there she is. She is coming. Move on. Let's go. I would like that to have been a lot more like flight, like you actually fly out of the atmosphere rather than a cutscene. I think that would have been uh, been a lot cooler. All right, let's go to Venus. Go in theory. Ooh. That's not good. See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. Um. No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. I doubt they know where the vanguard no, is in. but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. So we need to get to that. Easy. Three ships to our one. We cut down to minimal ship power and creep forward. They might not notice us getting closer. Yeah, uh, but yes, do it your way. Worst case, we fight our way through. Systems like weapons and shields are easy, easier to detect. For maximum stealth, power down all systems except for two bars of your engines. And stay as far away from the enemy ships as you can. Get within 500 meters of satellite beacons so that you can activate it. But the beacon's miles away. I still notice it because there's quite a lot of light still on on the ship. I 
I want to go fight him. We're nearly there. We're creeping up. We're creeping up. I think the sound is. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. integrity this might have been a bad idea but yeah we'll do it um, let, let's not fight them <laughs> that was a very bad idea hello what do we have here see that cluster of ships Varun zealots you ever run into one <laughs> completely devoted to a day I'll let you guess what happened No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay, we'll do it, we'll do it properly. We'll do it your way. But, for the record, I'm not happy about it. We're just gonna fly straight towards it. Oh, great and not worry about them. Bless this communion, that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding the coming eternal embrace that you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow well but one one day we will get to fight oh no no we don't want to go towards them We're nearly there, we're nearly there. And then we can just scoot on out. <laughs> I think uh, once we get once we get a better ship, then or at least just better weapons or a better shield. Probably should have got a better shield as well, but we we didn't. I want to. I want to save my money. Yeah, yeah, I know. The whole place is 
for emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Oh, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are Looks like we're heading to uh, heading to Earth then. What's this? Luna. Let's head over to Luna. <laughs> Forget about finding the artifact. I want to walk on the moon. No, we probably should do that. We should probably actually. Keep your weapons ready. Yeah. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Let's uh, put power back into the engines. One in each of them. Oh, so we are going to the star yard then. We're going to have to look around. Alright, we're close enough to dock. <laughs> Hopefully we can actually find something. And to point us in the right direction. Two steps in <clears throat> and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay. It's not Vanguard Moara. There's a corpse. Oh, Looks there like there is. Were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last a Kraken. The space crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging oh, what's this? and killing to survive. Utility flight suit. I'll, I'll take it. Did you pick? Sushi rolls. Nice. Oh, another dead guy. Oh, that's not good. I don't want the uh, flight suit though. Alright, let's head on inside, see what happened. Another dead guy. Another dead guy. Lots of ammo at least, so if we do end up in a in a gunfight. I hear gunshots. Another dead guy. A lot of dead people around here. Much more helpful if you want him in my firing line. This is gonna end badly for you. Is 
So who are they shooting at and why? Credits, ammo. <laughs> Looks like we came in at the wrong time. Ammo, grenade. Ooh, a grenade. Went the wrong way. <laughs> oh god, that could have ended worse. Oh. See them there. Oh my god, did, did you pick? When will they end? Oh, a legendary uh, spacesuit. Nice. Where the heck did you come from? I don't see anything to pick up down here. Oh. Not sure what that is. Laser cartridge or something. This was not a good way of coming. Target down. We have no cover this way. Let's see if we can get through this way. I've got no grenades. Fire. 
Alright, this is a very intense gunfight. Jump down here. Oh, ooh. No idea what that is, but treasure. I don't see a way out of here unless this is it. Well, she's just come and joined me from this way, so... They are everywhere, man. Bored now. To die already. All right now they're all dead. We can uh, stock up on junk. What about stocking up on junk? Stocking up on an uh, ammo. Ooh, that guy had a thousand credits. Right, who else died and where? Think we've searched all the dead guys. Industrial workbench. Med pack? Always good to have. I know we need to go we need to go search the ship, but weapon workbench. Right, I think we've got everything we can, so Moira, they uh, they didn't listen to you, bro. They they were still here. One of their ships and fighting them all at once here. Right, so we need to get the get the f out of here then. Uh, back up the stairs. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. It's not incredible, but about oh, space junk. Oh, this is the way I came. Except now we can go through here. It's always a shortcut straight back. The word and we'll get underway. There is some stuff in there. Ah, uh, we can't go in. We ain't got a good enough uh, picking level. <clears throat> right, so we know where Moira is going. He was is heading to Neptune or is at Neptune. This way. Let's go. <sighs> Zoom. Well, we're here. Wait, you see that? There's a ship just My drifting ship. out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Disable his engines. We blow that ship out of the stars, he's dead, and our artifacts gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. <laughs> we really need to get a better shield, man. <laughs> Let's go rescue him. To my left. Show me what you got. There, man. Firing rockets in here, man. Right, let's see if our vanguard's still alive. There he is. Ah, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? 
Yeah, pretty much. What? <clears throat> you guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? No, not really. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. See you later, mate. I think he's got our Ellsworth nicking. You lifting off right away, or do you need a little bit of time? We're, we're going straight away, love. We're going straight away. See you later, pal. We're just leaving you there with your busted engines. Right, let's get back home. This is the spaceport. Let's go to the spaceport. Because <laughs> before we go anywhere else, I want to get a better, sh a better shield. Because I think we're going to need it at this, at this rate. We 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 got attacked way too easy. Plus, Anything we can, can sell a bunch of the stuff that we don't want. Nah. Mm. No. 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 I mean, what has more damage? We'll keep the side star. That's what I picked up. I mean, it's probably better than the uh, one that I got now. And the guy's out of money, so we can't sell anything else. A space truck, a space helmet. <laughs> That's still funny to me, that. Well, that's all we can do there. Got Let's talk to this to dude. Trade authority is always buying. Modify the okay, ship. No problem. And we can go to E to upgrade. And we should be able to just go straight to the shields. Protect to 20S. It's, it's more than we've got now. So we'll chuck that guy on there. 
and I think we can up can we upgrade anything else? We could maybe upgrade the engines to the twenty tens. No, we can't. We we can't do that. We'll stick with the engines that we've got. We do not have the cashola for anything else. It's a bit strange that you can't upgrade the reactor from. Or am I? Am I just? Stupid. We'll stick with that. We'll go to the ship builder. Oh no, we've we've already been here. We we can't get a better uh a better one from here and then we need to go to the lodge so we'll head to the lodge that was weird she was just standing right in front of me there And we're back. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters <laughs> available to Let's add to you. the artifacts. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added. It's making some kind of like ball or ring. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here, you've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Ah, so I was only a part-timer a minute ago. Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. Oh, thank you. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the I'm way, sure we how will. would you like to keep travelling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Hmm, thanks. You got it. It's uh, be nice to have the company. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First... There's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. We probably should. Uh, what should we do first? It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Why not? We'll do that in the uh, in the next episode. So that was uh, that was quite quite interesting. We uh, discovered a, another artifact to, to add to our collection. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of the ship upgraded, so we uh, we we'll go we'll go find Barrett um, in the next episode and look at seeing if we can upgrade our ship even further because. Not all the parts 
uh, are, are at one base station, so we we do have to visit a few few different ones to to find them. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we can come up with. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like the video, please hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments section any sort of parts or uh, for the ship or missions or weapons or even where we can back where we can get a new spacesuit. Um, because yeah, we. Can't just keep running around in uh, in our normal gear. So it'd be uh, be nice to find a find a better spacesuit or uh, a better weapon. Um, we've got this one, which uh, apparently isn't worth that much compared to the. Oh, we've got a constellation spacesuit. You know what? I'm keeping that then. I didn't realise we had a constellation spacesuit. I thought we only got the constellation backpack, so yeah, well, I'll, I'll take the constellation spacesuit any day. And the space helmet. Nice. We're looking more, we're looking a lot more official, uh, <laughs> so to say. Did, did, did we get any uh, constellation undergarments or anything like that? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, let, uh, leave a comment down in the comments section below on uh, any gear that you think we think is worth uh, worth us grabbing, and please consider being a becoming a subscriber to the channel. There's going to be a lot more uh, a lot more Starfield uh, videos coming out. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye now.